All right, this is going to be a quick video of eight, or sorry, 1333 Sunset Boulevard. This is the house. There's an attached two-car garage on garage door openers. The entire property is serviced by a sprinkler system, automatic sprinkler system, and the owner will be maintaining the landscaping, so no lawn mowing. This is the Catholic Church. The hospital is right over that direction about a block and a half. Also the Buffalo Bill Historic Center is about a block away. This is a very quiet uh, community. The owner calls it a geriatric row because it's mostly older owners. Take a walk around real quick just to show you the yard and back and the amazing views. On July 4th the city has a great fireworks show, which is right across the river here. So you're in a great location to watch that. You get tons of yard for the kids to play in. There are deer and rabbits back here all the time. They like to hang out under the shade trees there. So in the back, this is just a temporary fence a previous tenant put up. There's a good sized patio there and there's another one on the other side of the house. So again, down there you can see the, uh, that's where the river is at. It's Heart Mountain in the background. Hospital right behind these houses here. Let's go Okay, inside. we're inside the house. I'm, gonna, I'm not even turning lights on. I'm gonna make this really quick. I'm kind of between appointments here. So here's the entryway, standard uh, coat closet. Sorry for the focus there. On this side of the house, we have uh, three bedrooms. There are a lot of storage cabinets built in, as is common in older homes. And these are not small cabinets, pretty deep. See some over on this side. Here's one of the bathrooms. There's two up here on the main floor, one down in the basement. Two of what I would call kids' bedrooms. These are probably, uh, I'm going to say, 15 by 12. It's a little bit larger than you would normally see in second uh, bedrooms. This one is a little bit shorter, maybe a 13 by 13. There's a forced air heat. This is the main bedroom on the upstairs. A lot of ceiling fans. This has two closets, built-in dresser, and an attached private bath. But again, small and dated. Very ancient uh, light fixture there. Okay. So you have a door going into the hallway and you have a door going out into the main living room. These are real hardwood floors, lots of big bright windows, built in bookshelves, that's a wood burning fireplace. Very large room. On the other side of it you have what I guess could be an office or potentially like a a dining area or something. Dark wood paneling, but again, a pretty good sized room. This is the stairwell. We'll touch on that in the basement in a little bit. This is just a large pantry closet. You can see how big that is. Here is a second heater and the air conditioner is only on this side of the house. This is a large uh, coat closet and this is the garage. Nothing special, there's the sprinkler system, two doors on openers, a couple
couple storage shelves. A pegboard there for tools. Okay, and again, a large coat closet. This is the large pantry going into the large kitchen. So we have a little uh, vegetable sink here, some extra storage. And on this side, the stove, lots of storage, fridge, dishwasher, oven. A lot of storage, a lot of cabinet space, built in uh, marble cutting board, just very dated. And then off of that, what most people use, I guess originally this was a formal dining room. People usually use it as a living room. This has, uh, this fireplace is also wood. It has a blower in it. So a lot of people will have hot fires in there and then set a fan in this window and it'll blow air into the main living space and help heat the home and reduce heating costs. And here's the patio outside off the kitchen in the backyard. Now let's take a look down in the basement. Okay, now we're down in the basement. This is the landing. The floor down here is just a red vinyl tile. Nothing to write home about. There's a lot of wood paneling down here, so it's darker. Just a coat closet on the right, or a storage closet under the stairs. This is the uh, basement living room. This has the third wood-burning fireplace. They're all three functional. Only the one off of the kitchen has a blower on it, so it's really the only one that's suitable for heating. This would be great for aesthetics. The uh, wall down here has a fold-down like craft table. I believe the previous owner was a quilt maker or something of that nature. Uh, hasn't been used as long as I've known the property, six years. This is the only bathroom in the basement. It's a three-quarter bath with just a shower. Again, dated. Does have plenty of storage. The shower is discolored on the basin floor. Uh, that's just staining though, it's been cleaned. It's just stained from the water over the years. This is one of the bedrooms. Be great for an older kid that maybe needs a place to do homework. A lot of built-in storage space and a closet behind the door there. The next bedroom would be great if you had two kids sharing a space. Uh, you've got two built-in desks, a couple uh, whiteboards back there, some shelves, lots of closet space, built-in drawers. So again, this is plenty large for a couple twin beds or full beds and put two kids in it. And then finally the storage area. This is just unfinished space. And a little workbench there. This is where the dryer goes and vents out. And the washing machine goes all the way on the opposite end of the room. So downside there, but that's the way it's set up. Some more storage. This is the furnace. Again, this heats the main part of the house. The kitchen and dining room are heated and cooled on their own. This side with the basement does not have a cooling system. So people either retreat down into the basement to cool off or they just uh, use window units for air conditioning. There's a the utility sink. And that wraps it up.